Let's talk about migration of workloads and the cloud. But before we get too deep into this, clearly we need to define what a workload is. A workload, when we speak of cloud, could be a virtual machine. It could be a container. And if you don't know what a container is, you're in the right place. It could be an application. You see, not only is cloud an evolving technology, but cloud itself is consistently evolving. And more and more, we have these workloads that we want to have the flexibility to migrate, maybe from on-prem up to the cloud or from one cloud to another. To describe the various types of workload migrations we often deal with, notice there's this little terminology that I want you to memorize. P2V references physical to virtual migration. This is pretty commonplace, isn't it? So we have an organization that has a physical server and they're running resources on that physical server and they want to virtualize that and they want to migrate it to the cloud and operate it as a virtual machine. So physical to virtual, very, very common. Understand that they have to do a lot of different research, don't they? They have to make sure that the operating system potentially, the application potentially, they have to make sure that all that stuff can run properly in the virtualized environment. So while this is popular, I'm not saying it's simple or easy. Another option that's quite popular is V2V, and you already know what that means. So inside our on-prem this time, we are running virtual machines, and I'll just show those as boxes, and we are migrating those virtual machines to virtual instances in the cloud. This is rare that we would go from virtual to physical. If we're going from virtual to physical, then probably there was some type of an issue. The virtualization didn't work and we're trying to undo it. Another potential virtual to a physical box inside of the cloud, a physical server, another potential for that, I suppose, would be that we're not getting the security that we want. So we're going to dedicated hardware inside the cloud to really, really guarantee as much security as possible. But still, that third option is quite rare. And then physical to physical is also rare, where we're taking the physical server on-prem and moving it to a physical server in the cloud. That would definitely be to maintain performance or security metrics if we were to do something like that. So please commit these to memory. That's really good because they're so commonly used in production that we want to be able to recognize those and what they mean. Keep in mind, too, that there are tools that would allow you to do this both online and offline. So if you're doing virtual to virtual migrations, there are, like I said, plenty of tools that would allow the virtual workload to be copied while it's running and servicing customers so you can stay online and do the migration. Some types of migrations, of course, are going to require that we do them in a maintenance window because we'll have to take resources offline. Also remember that an entire separate category would have to do with storage. Storage migration can be very complex and interesting, and that's another area where we have to really consider are we taking all of the data that we have stored and are we migrating it while keeping it available or is this something that we're going to do inside of a maintenance window? Are you going to be doing P to V, V to V, P to P? We know there are many different types of workload migrations and in this nugget we discussed this important topic together. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.